Hello, ethics. Ethics basically equates to trust in many ways when we talk about it in relation to a profession. The general rule we want to get down is that ethics and trust is good for the profession. The idea being that the profession has a self-interested right to have ethics within it. The ethics is going to be something that is good and benefits the profession overall. We'll talk about that as we go. First, what is profession? A profession is a vocation that requires some specialized knowledge. So we often think about a legal profession or a medical profession. And note that when we think about a legal or medical profession that we are generally dependent on the information that these people give us. So a doctor, if they tell us we have to take a prescription drug or something like that, we're pretty much dependent on them and relying on them to do that because we just don't have the knowledge to make a relevant decision on our own. The legal profession, same way, if the legal professional tells us we need to do a certain thing, we're pretty much dependent on that because we don't have the amount of time and the knowledge in order to make the decision on our own. That means that the profession has more of a need than many other types of areas in order for the community to need to trust the profession because of that specialized knowledge, as opposed to if we went to the supermarket or something, we can kind of tell if the produce <laughs> wasn't up to standards or whatnot. When we talk about a profession, it's very much more difficult for us to make that determination. Therefore, more trust is needed within the profession. What is ethics and how does it apply? So I'm not going to go through all these definitions, but if you Google ethics, you'll come up with a ton of different definitions. Of course, ethics has been thought about since Socrates and Plato and before that. And note that there's going to be a lot of different areas and principles within ethics. We are going to be talking about ethics as it relates to the profession. And of course, in our applying it, we're going to be applying it to the accounting profession. The accounting profession came up later on, of course, because as things became more complex, the accounting profession became one of those areas where there's going to be a lot of specialized knowledge and people are becoming very dependent on it, especially like investors when they are investing. So when we want to apply the idea of ethics, we could apply it in a simple rule. The simple rule being that what is ethical tends to be something that is going to be good for the profession as a whole, not necessarily the one individual performing the act. For example, if we had a medical doctor or someone that was selling prescription drugs that weren't good, that didn't do the job in order to generate revenue in the short run, they might be generating revenue, but they are harming the profession overall. So they're basically making money off of the harming of the profession. That hurts the profession as a whole. Therefore, that would be something that would basically be not right, not ethical in terms of the profession as a whole. Note that the profession itself then has an interest to self-regulate itself. It wants to regulate itself because that allows the profession as a whole to do better. It allows doctors as a whole to be more um, able to conduct their business if they are more trusted and therefore the profession has an incentive to self-regulate in order to have ethical behavior because once again ethics is generally going to be good for the profession. 